Spring is here, which means adorable, helpless baby birds are going to start falling out of their nests. Sad, we know. We also know that if you have a heart, you're going to want to rescue them. But not so fast. Some birds don't need your charity. To that end, here's a quick guide for helping the birds that actually need to be helped. First, identify the bird's stage of development. Hatchlings will have close to no feathers. Nestlings might have some coming in. Fledglings will be fully feathered, although their adult wing and tail feathers still need to get longer. Fledglings don't know how to fly yet, but unlike hatchlings and nestlings, they also have no trouble hopping around. They will likely be flying in a day or two. So if the bird you found on the street is a fledgling, then let it be. Don't take it home and try to be its parents. Don't find a nest to put it in. Don't feed it. It's learning how to be a grown-up, and its parents are probably watching over it. One exception. If it's in a place where it could get run over or eaten by another animal, then move it to a safer, nearby location. Now, back to hatchlings and nestlings. If the bird is in either of those stages, then you can carefully pick it up and put it back in its nest. And don't worry, the smell thing is a misconception. Birds have a very poor sense of smell, and they won't reject it based on your handling it. If you can't find a nest, then scoop up the baby, wrap it loosely in a towel, and place it right next to a bottle of warm water. Do not feed the bird, and don't handle it more than you absolutely need to. As soon as you can, call a nearby wildlife rehabilitator, like the Wild Bird Fund or a local vet. They'll take it from there. One last thing, regardless of its stage in life, if the bird is bleeding or otherwise visibly injured, then you should also seek the assistance of a wildlife rehabilitator. And that's it. Follow these rules, and on average, you'll save more birds' lives than you used to. Enjoy spring.